looking at uh, Galatians chapter 4. Galatians chapter 4, now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differs nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all. But he's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, uh, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. You see, God is in, into the adoption business. He wants to adopt you as his child into his family. You and I don't deserve it. We deserve hell and the lake of fire for eternity because of our sin. But we see that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Bible says, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. We've got to put our faith in Christ to be a child of God, to be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, the one who died on the cross for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried but praise God the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's a living, loving saviour my friend and God wants to be your father. You see we're not God's children until we be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Now this here is actually written to believers, to Christians. It says here because we are sons, remember? That doesn't include you if you're not saved, if you're not a child of God. If you have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And because you are sons, God has sent forth His Spirit, the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Howbeit then, when ye uh, knew not God, ye did service unto them which by nature are no gods. This is before the people get saved, before they become, they become Christians. But now, after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage? Ye observe days and months and times and years, I am afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you labour in vain. Brethren, and that's a family name, that means brothers and sisters, in Christ. I beseech you, be as I am, for I am as ye are, ye have not injured me at all. Ye know how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the gospel unto you at the first, and my temptation which was in my flesh ye despise not nor rejected, but receive me as an angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. Where is then the blessedness you spake of? For I bear you record that if it had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? They zealously affect you, because, uh, but not will. Yea, they would uh, exclude you that ye might affect them. But it is uh, good to be zealously affected always in a good thing. And not only when I am present with you, my little children of whom I travail in birth again until Christ be formed in you. I desire to be present with you now and to change my voice, but I stand in doubt of you. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the law, do ye uh, not hear the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the son of uh, the one of the bondwoman and the other of by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, 
that he of, of the free woman was by promise. Which things are an allegory or a picture story, for these are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, which gendereth the bondage, which is Agar, that speaks of the law, the law of Moses. Um, for this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answereth to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. But Jeru Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice, thou barren that bearest not, break forth and cry, thou that travaileth not. For the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband. Now we, brethren, as uh, Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit, even so it, it is now. Nevertheless, what saith the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not the uh, children of the bondwoman, but of the free. Again, this is speaking to Christians, to believers. It says here in uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, Stand fast there, for in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not entangled again with, with the yoke of bondage. When have you been made free through the blood of Jesus Christ? Are you a child of God? As we read earlier, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. So we've got to be born again into God's family through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you believed on him? Have you received him? You see, he came unto his own, and his own received him not, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Are you prepared to put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you been born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? Yes, repentance toward God, that is a change of mind, Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your soul will be saved. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whom we have redemption through his blood even, the forgiveness of sins. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever uh, of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, Wait for the hope of, the, of righteousness by faith, for in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. And so we need to understand, we don't need to put our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if we do that, our soul will be saved. Is your soul saved? Are you on your way to heaven through the Lord Jesus Christ? Because this is the only way we can be on our way to heaven it's through the Lord Jesus Christ. And our right response to him. You see, we can just walk past or drive past and say, it's all right, should be right, mate, it's all good. But in reality, it's not all good because we're heading down to hell by default. And God does not want you to go down to hell at the lake of fire for eternity. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Remember, in whom we have redemption, through his blood, even, the forgiveness of sins. Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? Have you put your faith in Christ? You need to do that to be in heaven. As I said, repentance toward God, that's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner, and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you.
Thanks for listening. Have a great day.